What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry we haven't got a whole lot of videos out last week. Uh, we had an illness in the family so I had to go and tend to that instead of making YouTube videos. So that's where I was at last week. I'm sorry. Anyway, life happens. What can you say? All is good now. Everyone's back to feeling great. So good to go there. Week prior to that, I started working back on Walking Tall, which is the Club Car DS on 35s and 18 inch wheels. And if you remember, the tire was very close to the side of the golf cart. Well, I took a cereal box because I like to work with cereal boxes. They're generally free. After the kids get through eating what's inside of them, you can break a cereal box open and use the inside as a template. So that's how I make my templates. And I made a template where the front hanger would drop down four inches and out one inch. So uh, we was able to create enough room between the golf cart side and the tire. Okay, so I cut it out. I welded it all up. I encapsulated it. I ground it down. I painted it. I replaced the president leaf springs with DS leaf springs. And I had to re-weld or not to re-drill another hole on the top of the um of the hanger uh bracket that was welded to the frame i go to bed that night next day i walk outside i look at it and i absolutely hate it so last resort was to call up a company and see if i could get a rear lift just for the golf cart so we could put it on so i called up all sports and the day that i called all sports they were transitioning from the old owners to the new owners so a company has came in and bought all sports out. I didn't know that. And the day that I called, they were, uh, they were doing the transitioning or the paperwork or whatever. And then she was like, hey, um, it was actually like a younger lady, probably younger than I am. And she was like, if you just give me your name, your number, is it okay if I text you later? I said, sure. So she texted me later. She's like, um, <clears throat> you know, you, you said you wanted a 10 inch rear lift for a DS. And I said, yes. I said, but the only thing is, I'm kind of in a time crunch. I said, I know you guys have been back ordered, you know, last year, the previous year during COVID. I said, <clears throat> can you give me an estimated time of arrival? I was thinking, you know, maybe a month or two. And she was like, let me see exactly what it is. And she was like, you're only needing the, the back lift. I said, well, here's the deal. I'm building a golf cart. It's got 35s on it. It's got 18 inch wheels. It's got a different manufacturers front lift but that manufacturer if you know jake's really don't have their long travel kits will fit on the front of the ds 35s just fine probably bigger wheels and bigger tires but the back they only include like a regular block so it's gonna be a lot of squat i don't mind a little bit of squat i know a lot of people hate the squatted truck scenes i don't mind it here's what i didn't like about it which on their the jake's rear lift kit you know the tires would interfere with the fender in the body. So I'm gonna have to do something else. So either it was gonna leave the hideous lift that I had on there or order one of these. Well, she was like, I can probably have you one out within a week. I said, do what? She was like, yeah. She's like, so her family purchased all sports, but for a long time, they would manufacture parts for all sports. And I guess, I think it used to be owned by a man and woman named Steve and Judy. I don't remember her last name, but I guess they were just, you know, ready to get out of the scene or whatever, you know, just do their own thing, I think. But um, they were just ready to sell all sports. So all sports has been bought by another company. And she was like, like a week. Okay. I paid for this out of pocket. They did not sponsor this video. I'm going to just go ahead and be, you know, clear on that. On um, the last video that I did for all sports a couple of years ago, that was a sponsored video. They just gave me a lift to make a video review on. This is not a video review. I had to pay for this out of pocket, but it came in. I ordered it on a Thursday and it came in on a Monday. But she did mention that they are trying to get orders caught up and they are trying to do a lot more uh, lifts and stuff like that. Basically, what she was saying is they they know about the previous years of the back order and they don't want to do that. So they're, they're talking they're going to make a bunch of these lift kits or a bunch of lift kits in general. And then as people start ordering, they'll just make another bunch of batches of them. But their family is real big into manufacturing. They have like those shoes telling me lasers and plasma cutters and not just all the stuff. And they do work for other companies as well. But they bought all sports to do like, you know, their own thing. So in this box here, I have a 10 inch 
club card DS lift for the bat. I don't want to get rid of those hideous blocks. So if this is your first time viewing uh, this project or my channel, um, the, the video that you want to start watching first is the new build here, 84 Club Card DS, the Villager 8 Passenger Golf Cart Replacement. We're calling this golf cart Walking Tall. Uh, just a name I've always liked, kind of after that one movie. And the movie was made over, I think, with uh, The Rock or whatever his name is. And a pretty good old movie. And that Ford truck that was in Walking Tall, the second Walking Tall, the, the newer version of Walking Tall, was like a like an 80s model Ford. It had like some 35s or 33s on it. Green. I mean, it just looked good. It was stuffed. It didn't look all cartoonish like, you know, trucks are probably cartoonish like this golf cart is going to look with these big wheels and tires on it. But I've, I've always liked that movie. I always liked that truck. And I was, you know, I was thinking about, you know, what we're going to call this or a golf cart. I've never named golf carts before but we're gonna call it Walking Tall. And I ordered something last night to make that official. You'll just have to wait a couple of weeks until that comes in. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But let's open this right here up. It's not gonna be a review video. It might not even be a how-to video, but we're gonna install this and get rid of those hideous blocks on the back of the golf cart. Let's see what we got. I might put this down and then we'll just lay everything up here. Comes with brake cables. I, I did not know that it came with brake cables. That's it, that's everything from the box here. Let's get this little box here opened up and see exactly what it looks like, what it is. I've never put one of these big 10 inch lifts on a cart before. I have a couple of buddies here in town that run them or have ran them in the past. Instructions, bag of hardware. This looks like an equalizer. I hope this will work with the rod that I ordered for mine. It's got some upper or lower brackets there. Axle flip brackets, it's kind of like a flip kit. Okay, the shock mount and the U-bolts for the axle. It's another axle mount there as well. It's got your U-bolts in here. I think these are gonna be like shock extenders here. Um, yeah, I think that's what it is, like a shock extender. So. There's that. Here's the bars here. I like the fact that this rear bar already comes with the bushing installed. And this is going to go into the uh, front hanger mount. It's going to be the new leaf spring uh, mount there. It's just going to drop it down a few inches there as well. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to use these blocks or this flip kit that they include, or I'm just going to use uh, this here along with, um, along with the blocks we've already made. Now, I did ask them about the powder coating because, you know, I've read a lot of things online, but all the powder coating is done in-house by them and their company, actually their family, was doing all of the powder coating and building majority of these lift kits for them in Florida. So, you know, even in the past. So, you know, I've, I've read a lot of things about all sports online, but so I just had a bunch of questions. And I didn't mind asking them. So I did that. Let's get this right here on the golf cart and see exactly what we, what we have here. That looks kind of funky, don't it? I put a saw horse right there underneath the golf cart. There's no shackles in the rear, so it's acting like a two-link suspension in the rear. It looks funky, but I'm hoping this is the last time we're going to have to disassemble this rear end. See, those are the brackets up there I made. It doesn't look bad. I was going to have to add spacers inside there, 
so the leaf springs wouldn't shift left and right. But now I'm not gonna have to worry about that at all. See, I had to add another bolt to the very top up there as well. So it wouldn't pivot. Yep, I made those and they don't look bad, but I just don't think it looks great. So let's get this one here replaced. All right, let's pull her out and see what we got here. Hope I have enough room to slide this axle on the other side of the golf cart. Time being. So, all right. Got one block out here or extension piece or whatever you're going to call it, but it doesn't look bad, you know. Anyways, that's, uh, that's what it is. So now this is uh, trash. I'm going to go ahead and get this out on the table now. This is what the right, uh, the passenger side spring uh, hanger looks like with that. I had to drill this hole here in that one there. That one doesn't look bad, but it's not perfectly level. I had to go and angle here. I had to kind of go to angle there and then wallow it out, okay? That one don't look bad. This one here don't look bad, but this one. So I'm saying uh, it was not perfect. And instead of just trying to hide this right here, you guys see this in the background, I'm gonna go ahead and put it front and center. Look at this. Don't make the same mistake I did. Don't do this. And if you do it, you're gonna have to use something other than just a regular DeWalt drill because my drill did not want to get up in here to drill over since the chuck was so big, you know what I mean? Ugh, ugly, don't do this. So I'm, what I'm gonna do now before we do anything is I'm gonna just spray a little bit of paint on here and just to hide this kind of stuff right here before we put the new uh, lift kit on. All right, so this right here piece right here is going to go between the uh, mounts of the frame here. It's going to get bolted to each side of that. That's going to be your new leaf spring hanger uh, bolt here, which it drops it down and moves it back just a tad. On the back back here, we're going to need to drill some holes on this frame. Let me show you that. Let me get the front bolted in. I'll pick you back up in just a second. All right, once the front's mounted, I think the back is going to do this here. I'm going to put the bolt in as well. And then the nut. On this one, I know we're going to have to drill one hole here. Put the other hardware uh, bolt nut through there as well. Um, this back uh, bushing mount here lines up with the upper bushing mount so it is in place. I'm just going to repeat the same process for the other side, and then we'll drill the holes and get everything tightened down. All right, so both of these are in place. Get the bolt on this one here. You notice the straight part of these lift um, extenders or the leaf spring extenders or not exactly the right terminology you want to call these. Um, but basically, they just mount the uh, spring hanger and the spring shackle mounts uh, down lower here. Okay, so the uh, the inside holes line up with some holes that's already on the, the rear cross member of the DS. You notice the rear inside portions are angled. So that's how you do left and right. And then once you get them on there, you can go ahead and line up these right here with your eagle eye. And make sure these bushings here are in line with the bushings that's built into the frame up here. And this one here as well. Once you get those in, we're going to go ahead and drill two holes. Okay. 
That hole is now drilled. So I just hardware in, put the nut on from the back side. Guys, when you're uh, drilling these two holes here, remember that your golf cart will probably be on jack stands. And if it is, you don't want to sway the cart much or push it off the jack stand. So just be careful when you're doing that. All right, guys, in order to tighten the hardware down, I've just got a regular 9 16 wrench and a ratcheting wrench as well. That's what we're going to do to tighten everything down with. Now, I'm not sure if just a regular 10 inch lift by itself will will clear the tires so i'm gonna leave the leaf springs that i have now on the on the axle with the lift blocks that i previously made for the limo that same time i made them i'm gonna leave all of that connected on this one here maybe if i was running like some little 30s or something first thing is um that bushing is not all the way in place. I'm trying to take it out and put it back in if I can. Put some WD-40 on that thing, get that thing sliding in there like it should. All right. Oh yeah, much better. We can get that thing slid into place now. Might have to use a hammer still, rubber mallet, to knock it in place, but I think she's going. She started here. There she is. All right, so here's the thing. I am going to, um, I'm gonna take the cart off of the sawhorse, try to slide it off of there, and see exactly what kind of clearance we have. I just don't want the one problem to lead to another. So the only thing we need to do now, I'm gonna probably leave the rear lift blocks that I made in place. I need to put some bushings in this back right uh, leaf spring back here, and I need to make some shackles uh, for the back because I don't have any stock shackles. So, well guys, there it is. And if you're looking here, the wheels in the back are now centered inside the wheel well. We have plenty of room right here. Okay, just about four fingers, about three and a half fingers in the front there. On the back, just about a whole hand there. I think, I think that's perfect. Okay, same amount of room in the front. Now on, on the back, the only thing we did is we took out those homemade. Um, hanger brackets that I made a couple of weeks ago, replaced it with the all sports uh, lift the bar. Looks good underneath there. Let me show you the problem. Not sure if you guys noticed it or not, or if you can notice it, we're sitting one inch taller in the back than we are in the front. I don't know if it's worth the trouble of trying to take this back kit out because I'm going to show you the deal here. This block right here that is included with the all sport kit is about, it's about three inches shorter than what I already, I already have in there. And I would hate to take all of this right here out to put that block in there and then it's gonna be too short or too much of a squat and I don't want that either. So right now it's not very noticeable. 
I know it's there. That's one thing that's going to bother me, but I'm thinking about leaving it just like this right here. We got the Jake's lift kit in the front. It's on the max setting. When I say max setting, it's all the way down here at the bottom. Okay, I still need to adjust the tires, the toe, the toe and all of that. Then we have the All Sport 10 inch DS lift in the rear. And then I have a different axle bracket with a uh, two inch block welder to that as well. I just need to go ahead now and tighten this hardware back up because it's been loose for a while and probably just go ahead and call it done guys. I can sit back and I can tinker with it, tinker with it, tinker with it and we might not make any progress anymore. I am tired of messing with the suspension. I think she looks good. But like I said, the back tires are now about centered in the wheel well. I think that looks good as well. It's time to let's move on to the next step. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna just call this right here done or done-ish. Let's just call it done-ish because who knows what's gonna happen in the future. But if you made it this far, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do. And until next time, we'll see y'all later.